Hey everyone, I hope you're doing good. So on, on this Tuesday, uh, 17th November, I sit in the CRE exam for, from ASQ and I'm going to share my experience with you guys so you guys can have uh, you guys can learn from my mistakes and uh, have high probability of success in those uh, so the the preparation and uh, the time planning and everything else I'll, I'll I'll explain in the separate videos in in this uh, first video I'm just going to share my test day experience and uh, how I prepared and everything else uh, in, in a nutshell really uh, but later on I will explain it all in very detailed fashion so you guys know what to do in, in, in a really detailed way so like the, 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 the test day is really intense and the exam is really difficult as it is said that historically it's it's very difficult one and uh, the probability of success or the sorry the passing rate is uh, almost 60 percent so 40 percent uh, guys have to reset in it and uh, there is a reason for it and you will know the moment you will sit in the exam that why they should fail really so in my opinion the reason most of the students fail is that they, they think that reading through some literature would help them and uh, and that's really not uh, a good way to prepare for it but uh, what you should have done is prepare through uh, the examples like if you don't have the industry experience just read through some research papers or, uh, or other books so intensive reading can help you in some fashion, but not all. Like I do the FE analysis and I do the reliability testing. So, so I know what to look for and uh, and that really helped me out uh, in the exam. Because there are some, some questions, there are going to be some questions that you cannot answer from just the body of knowledge uh, read throughs. So you need you need to think thoroughly about it, and then answer the question. So there there can be numerical about it, or there can be some theoretical questions that you just need to that you just cannot rephrase from any book. So be prepared for it, guys. Uh, it, it's a tough exam. So the the distribution of questions was fairly easy. Uh, you know, like the ESQ guides have already told you how many questions are going to be from which section of body of knowledge. So that should not be really a problem here. So on the test day, I had very high doubts because uh, taking a job and then preparing for CRE is really what you most of the guys are going to do. And uh, one of the one of the bad things that happen is that uh, you don't get enough time for preparation. But uh, uh, luckily, I had enough time uh, to do it. So I prepared two months for it. Like roughly, I planned two hundred hours, but I did not end up preparing two hundred hours free. Uh, but instead, I prepared for almost hundred and twenty to hundred and sixty hours. Um, you know, like intermittently, not dedicatedly, but I put like three days dedicated for for just uh, the the CR exam preparation, and that would mean like uh, twelve hours a day. So that that would be forty dedicated hours just before the exam. And I read through each of uh, the body of knowledge uh, sections in all of the books so I did not think that it would be a fair idea to to go through all of the sections and then uh, you know like in, in, in intermittent fashion and uh, then then uh, go through some first and then some later so that was my plan but uh, the plans change and they should have uh, changed you know like I now I think that I should have a different plan but I'm gonna help you build a strong plan and uh, and, and not no sorry <laughs> so the the doubts are gonna be the 
sorry, the, the doubts about this exam, if you have not prepared very well, they, 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 will, they, will, they, they will be a valid concern rather than doubts. Uh, because historically being tough, it's, it, it's really a, a tough exam that will check you through your thorough understanding of the topics rather than just the theory or the like the definitions or something no so there will be some questions like maybe 5 to 10 that you can answer with the plugin formula but uh, that's that's it you know like they, there will be so many questions uh, that you have to solve uh, with math but the, you will not uh, you will not find a go-to example that you can just copy paste uh, on your uh, question so be prepared for it and uh, be very prepared it's it's a tough exam and uh, this also happened to me like I I thought I could uh, extend the date but they would not you know like the, the prometric guys they they just did not reschedule it. I thought maybe like sixty five bucks is not a big deal if I could save uh, four hundred bucks the the exam fee, and uh, and and you know like maybe I I had very high doubts of passing on the 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 day before test, and I thought maybe two days before I could reschedule it, but uh, I did not. I, I was not able to, but I ended up passing it anyway. So thank God, hallelujah. Alhamdulillah. Anyway, <laughs> so all of these expressions mean one thing, and that is that uh, that 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 I passed it without having the high, uh, like I uh, without having high high certainty of passing it. So and and there is there is a reason for it. For for example, when we go to question breakdown, I will tell you like uh, how many questions were bad and really bad. <laughs> So, uh, nevertheless, uh, you should have uh, the, the preparation very well. You should have uh, some industry knowledge about it. And then you should have ample time to prepare for it. Uh, because without all these three, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna end up uh, just guessing. That's it for, the next, uh, for this video. And uh, in, in the next video, um, I will tell you what resources to pick and uh, how to prepare for different questions. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.